Hi everyone, this is Cape at Cape's Crochet Corner. Today we are going to make this beautiful handkerchief. Now, of course, the handkerchief is already made and it actually is comes with these little holes in there for your crocheting pleasure. These handkerchiefs are great gifts for grandma or mom or a bride-to-be. You know, great to have. You can tuck in your pocket and always have a handkerchief at the ready. Now, for the beginner crocheter, I want to let you know that this is a really a fast and easy project. It may look a little scary, but honestly, it's only two rounds of crocheting. It's one stitch and it works up really fast. Now over here, I'm, I have a handkerchief that we're going to work on and this crochet thread. This is a size 10. I think it's Glacier Ice and I get these both at the Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is the um, craft store of choice for me. I don't have um, anything else in the area I, unless I drive for an hour or so. And I don't go very far, so this works for me. Now, these are inexpensive and makes a beautiful gift. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, this is a size, let's see, 1.5 millimeter hook. You can go up a size, down a size. Let's see what else I have here. This is a 2.5. That's a little bit big. Let me see what else I have here. Um, see, this one is a 9. That's a little small for a size 10 thread. If we were using a smaller thread, then we could go a little bit smaller. And this here is a 2.1. Now that would also work. I can show you this one. This is just, you know, a little bit bigger and sometimes easier to manipulate, but when I just do that, it's a little bit too big. So we're going to stick with this 1.5 millimeter and we're going to put our hook into the corner hole of this handkerchief. As long as you can see that right there into this space right here. Now, I like to make a slip knot, which is, I bring it over, short end in my hand, wrap it around my finger and cross over at the top and bring your finger out of there. Then you can simply see this dangling piece in the back. I just put it on my hand like this. And with the hook, you just grab it and pull through that hole, pulling on your working piece and your tail a little bit so it slides up onto your hook nice and tight, except for the fact that I wanted it in here first. <laughs> and then we can put it on the hook. There we go. Alright, now let me unwind that. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to pull through, in through that hole right there and we're going to chain one and two. Now this is going to be our beginning half double crochet. Let's see if you can see here. Okay. We need to put two more half double crochets into this space. So we're going to wrap our thread around our hook and insert through this hole. Wrap your thread around your hook and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook. Now for a half double crochet we're just going to wrap our thread and pull through all three loops on our hook. And there you have your half double crochet. So now we have that chain up two, which is our first, and our second, and we need one more. So we're going to wrap the thread around the hook, insert it into this corner space, wrap the thread and pull through. Now we have again three loops on our hook. Wrap your thread and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now, we are going to put one half double crochet in each of these holes across our handkerchief. So it's easy as that. We're just going to wrap your thread. Always remember to wrap your thread. Insert into this first space. 
And again, wrap your thread and pull through and pull up just a little bit so you can see all three loops. Wrap your thread and pull through all three loops to make your half double crochet. And we're going to do that across. So wrap your thread into this space, wrap your thread again and pull it through, and then wrap your thread and bring through all three loops on your hook. And that makes a half double crochet. So you're going to do that all the way until we get to the next corner. So here we go. One more time and then I'll let you do that across. So you're going to wrap your hook around the thread. Oops. Yes. Wrap your, I'm sorry. Wrap your thread around your hook. Insert it to the next hole. Wrap your thread and pull through and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay. One more time. Wrap your thread around your hook. Insert it into that little hole. Wrap your thread and pull through. And wrap your thread and pull through all three for a half double crochet. And that's all there is to that. So we're going to do that all the way across and I'll meet you up at the next corner. Alright, so now we have one stitch left before the corner, so we're going to wrap our thread around our hook, insert into that space, wrap your thread, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook, be able to see that, and wrap over and pull through all three. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it three times into this center, into this corner piece here. So wrap your thread, insert your hook into that space, wrap your thread, pull through, and wrap your thread and pull through all three loops on your hook. And again, wrap your thread, insert into that center hole there, and pull through. One more time, wrap over, insert your hook, wrap over, pull through, and wrap, wrap your hook and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then we're just going to continue that around to this side and the other two sides. Remembering that you're going to make the same stitch all the way around, but in the corner piece you're going to put three half double crochets. I'll do a couple more with you so you remember how to make that stitch, and then I'll meet you up when you're all the way around. So right here we're going to wrap our thread Go into the next hole, wrap your thread and pull through, and wrap your thread and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that's all there is to it. So wrap your hook into the next hole, wrap your hook and pull through, and wrap and pull through all three. All right then, I will see you when we come back to this corner. Now this corner already has three, so I will help you work that when we come back. Alright, so now we're back all the way around with that half double crochet in every stitch all the way around. And we have one more here. So wrap your thread around your hook, insert here in this space, wrap and pull through and then wrap and pull through all three for our last stitch. Now we're going to connect at the top of this chain up two so just to make sure we're just in the right space. So if you look over here to our, let's see, three stitches. So one, two, and three. And we're going to go right into this top stitch here under both loops. Wrap over and pull through both loops on your hook. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next, um, into the next top of the next stitch. We want to be in the middle of those three stitches, so we're going to wrap over and pull through, and pull through for a slip stitch. So now we're going to. Again, chain up two, one and two. And in this same space, it's going to be a little tight, you're going to put um, 
you're going to put seven half double crochets in here. So we're going to do three now. That would be four counting this chain up two. And when we come around the back side, we will add the last three stitches into there. So I'm going to show you again because this is really small. So we're going to put our last stitch in here. And we're going to connect to the chain up two. Hard to see sometimes. If you can't figure that out, you can just go in between the stitches into between this stitch here and wrap over and pull through and through. Whoops. Yeah, working with thread is a little different. You have to be patient. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go into the top of this stitch pull through and through. And then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the second stitch. And there we go. Now we're going to chain up two. And we're going to continue by putting three more half double crochets into this space. So one, yeah, I keep saying yarn, thread over your hook, insert your hook into that space, thread over and pull through, and then pull through all three loops on your hook, and one more time into that same space. There we go. So counting that chain up two, we have four half double crochets, and we will come around the back side and put in three more when we come back to close our project. Now, the ne very next stitch we are going to skip. And then you're going to, and now as I look at this, yeah, you're going to skip the next stitch. And in the very next stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. So you're just going to insert your hook into the top of this stitch, thread over and pull through, and thread over and pull through two loops on your hook for a single crochet. Now the next stitch is another skip. So you're going to skip one, single crochet, skip one. So we are actually doing two stitches. That was my mistake in the beginning. It's a half double crochet and a single crochet. So this next one we skip. Now in the very next stitch, we are going to put five half double crochets to make a shell. So I want to show you here. And you can see the scallop or the shell shape. So we need to put five half double crochets in that one space. So we're going to start here. And we're going to put one. Now going back right into that little space, you can see where that one is. We're going to put four more. So thread over. Insert your hook into that space, grab your thread and pull it through, and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's two, and three, and four, and five. Now working with thread versus yarn, it's a, it's a little bit slippery to hold on to. It slips through your fingers. It's, it's a little bit more difficult. So I send to wrap twice on my index finger and I will let go as I need to and then come back for more tension so that you can keep your stitches over here pretty snug. When too much tension is over here, your loops over here will become bigger and it, it's not as uniform. So you would like to keep a little more tension when you're working with thread you can go around once, twice, three times on your finger to keep that tension snug. Now, here's where you're going to have to be a little careful. When you work in the five stitches in that stitch, 
it's not this loop here that you're seeing. It's this slanty one over here. So when you skip, you have to be careful. To, you're skipping the right stitch. So the best way is to take it off your hook and straighten it out. And you'll see that the next stitch is here, very close to the bottom of this. So you want to skip that one that's kind of opened up there. Not this over here, but right here. And then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So you just insert your hook in there, thread over and pull through, and thread over and pull through the two loops on your hook. And again, we're going to skip the next stitch. It's so tiny, hard to see. So this one here, not this right here, but this one. The very next stitch, and we're going to yarn, uh, th thread over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your thread and pull it through, and now you have three loops on your hook, and grab and pull through all three. And we're going to do that four more times into that same space. So two, three, four, so let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. So you need to have five half double crochets in that space. So you can see your scallop is beginning to take form. Now we skip the next stitch and single crochet in the following stitch. Now I'm going to show you how this right here looks. If you can see, this is all kind of loosey goosey here. So that's because my tension had fallen away. So I'm going to take that out and grab that thread tighter, skip this stitch, and single crochet into this stitch. And now you can see that there's no big loops hanging there. All right, so skipping the next stitch and five half double crochets in this next stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Skipping this stitch and single crochet in the following stitch. And there we have it. So you go ahead and work this till we get to the next corner and I'll meet you up there. Okay, so one side is complete, and there should be 16 shells, not counting the corners. So we're going to start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 shells. Now, again, in this corner, I started over here in the middle stitch. If you're going to skip one on the end, you know, as a beginner, if you have one stitch left in the side or two stitches, just ignore the very last one if you have an extra one and go to your middle stitch of your corner and we're going to do seven I'm going to pull this out so you can see seven half double crochets in this corner so wrap over insert your hook into that middle stitch wrap over and pull through and wrap and pull through all three loops on your hook now we need to do six more into this little space right here. So if you can see that, that little space. So wrap over, insert your hook, wrap over, pull through, wrap and pull through three. Wrap over, insert your hook, wrap over, pull through, wrap over and pull through all three. That's three and four, five, six, and seven. And what that does when we make seven is it comes up over the top and around the corner. Makes a nice shell over the from one side to the other. And again, we're going to skip our next stitch and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And that secures your shell around the corner. 
All right, and again, we're going to do that on the next three sides. Remembering to put seven half double crochets in your corner space, and you can stop in the video and rewind a little bit so you can get that corner again. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this project. All right then, here we go. Okay everyone, before we close this project, I just want you to make sure that you've got 16 shells around each side and your corners have seven uh, half double crochets in them. I hope you enjoyed this pro project today. It looks difficult, but really easy and fast working. And for the beginning, our, uh, beginner crocheter, I hope you've enjoyed this. Now, in the very last stitch here, we had started with a chain up of two and three half double crochets. So in that circle right here, we're going to put three more half double crochets, which will make seven. So we're just going to pull that aside. Don't worry about your, you know, being too hard on it. Just give it a good tug out of the way and put in three more. One, two, and three. And then we're going to slip stitch here to that chain up two. You may have to pull these down out of the way. Let me show you up here. Pull these three out of the way and count from the bottom one and two and right here in this stitch we're going to put our slip stitch. Well, so even advanced crocheters have trouble with that sometimes when you're working with a tiny thing. Of course if I put my glasses on that might help too, right? Alrighty then. So there you have it. You have your nice round circle top on your corner. Now what I like to do with thread is I like to slip stitch into the next stitch and into one more and then chain one because you don't want your thread to come undone. It is a little bit slippery. Um, now we're going to cut that and we're going to pull that through. Okay. Now, on the back side, we're going to sew in this, this tail. You know, you got to get a, a needle that's accordingly uh, fitted with your thread. I like to go snug because it, it's more apt to stay put. Um, you know, that meaning snug, meaning the eye, eyelet here is not too, too, too big. Yarn needles are a bit big for this. You can't get underneath the threads. These are a little bit more hard to thread, but you could also use a uh, little threader if you need one. All right, now we want to work down into the threads, but not coming through to the front side. So when you push it in like that, if you see your needle like this, you maybe want to take it out and work it again closest to this to the middle because closer to the middle of the circle there's double threads so you can get in between them and then push that through gently you don't want to tug too hard at the top for that to misshape in your corner and then come back underneath some of those same stitches and then I do it on this side as well I come across here underneath there then I come over the top of this first one and back in and then back up. And there you have it. And then you just snip that thread. Now cotton thread, once it's washed and ironed and everything, really will stay put. And then we have it. We have two beautiful handkerchiefs. Let me fold that for you. Now, of course, once they're ironed, oh, we have our other thread. Oops. Sorry, I forgot the, our beginning thread. Let's just get that one in because we don't want anything unfinished. Oh my goodness, right? Well, if I could get it in there, let's 
try this. There we go. And we're going to work that in underneath these very bottom stitches, like so. And then back the other way. I always go three times and sometimes four, depending on how much thread or yarn I have left. There we go. And snip that as close as you can to there and give a little tug and there you have it. Alrighty, now we have two beautiful hand designed handkerchiefs here with a very pretty edge, a nice little shell stitch, and honestly, not a hard project, works up fast, and I'm sure that somewhere, grandma, auntie, or somebody would love to have these. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we are maybe four videos in on, this is a new channel, a crochet, crochet channel, <laughs> I'm sorry, and I really hope that you enjoyed your time here. I'm glad you're here and I enjoy your company. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to ring that bell so that you can see upcoming videos. Also, you'll be seeing some of my items on Cape's uh, Corner on Etsy. You can go to um, my other channel, I have a uh, Capes Corner Creation where I have another product there. But Capes Corner Creation on Etsy is holding both products. So you can find anything uh, crocheted will be uh, showing up there as well. So in the meantime, until the next video, have a nice day. Bye-bye.